Let's open with prayer. Father God, we ask that you open our minds to the gospel. Father, we are gathered in your name to press into your word. Father, give us a hunger for your word. Give us a hunger for your spirit. We want more of you, Lord. More of you. Please impress upon us everything you want us to know in your word and reveal what you want us to know in this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, Brother Art, one and two, please. Are you there? Yeah. Okay. Immediately, immediately in the morning, the chief priest held a consultation with the elders and the scribes and the whole council, they bound Jesus, led him away, delivered him to Pilate. Then Pilate asked him, Are you the king of Jews? He answered and said to him, It is as you say. All right, so here we see Jesus does admit. Well, he says he's the king of the Jews. Uh, he doesn't admit he's God right there that he's a son of God, but he does say he's the king of the Jews. Now, is that the same as the Messiah? I'd have to research that. Okay, Brother Ricky, three and four. Wow, Ricky's sideways now. I'm having to move room so I can see. Come on, cut right off in there. So give me just three and four. Uh, three and four, please. Sorry, guys. All right. And the chief priest accused him of many things. But he answered nothing. Then Pilate asked him again, saying, Pilate, do you need any? Do you, do you answer nothing? See how many times they testify against you. Amen. Thank you. Pilate saying, Base, put your back on mute. That breathing's heavy. We are recording. Brother and there was one named Bartabas who was chained with his fellow rib rebels. They have committed murder in the rebellion. Then the multitude crying aloud began to ask him to do just as he had always done for them. And that guy's name is Barabbas, one of the famous people in this story. So I guess I'll take a turn too. But Pilate answered them saying, do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he know, knew that the chief priests had handed him over because of envy. 11 and 12, Brother Riggy. The chief priests stirred up the crowd so that he should rather release Barbas to them. Pilate answered and said to them again, What then do you want me to do with him who you call the king of the Jews? So they cried out again, crucify him. Then Pilate said to them, Why, what evil has he done? But they cried out all the more, crucify him. 15 and 16, Brother Art. Then the soldiers led, them, led him away into the hall called. I think you got 15, Art, to go back to 15. Okay, so Pilate wanting to gratify the crowd, released Barnabas to them, and he delivered Jesus after he scourged him to be crucified. Then the soldiers led him into the hall called Praetorium, Praetorium and they called together the whole garrison. Okay, 17 and 18, Brother Nate. Okay. And they clothed him with purple, and they twisted a crown of thorns, put it on his head and began to salute, salute him. Hail, King of the Jews. 19 and 20, Ricky. 
Then they struck him on the head with a reed and spat on him. And bowing the knee, they worshipped him. And when they had mocked him, they took the purple off him, put his own, put his own clothes on him, and led him out to crucify him. Simon, as Cyrenian, the father of Alexandra and Rufus, as he was coming out of the country and passing by to bear his cross. And they brought him to the place Golgotha, which is translated place of a skull. Good day in 24, Brother Art. Then they gave him wine mingled with mares to drink, and he did not take it. And then they crucified him. They divided his garments, casting lots for them to determine what every man should take. 25. Now it was the third hour, and they crucified him. And the inscription of his accusation was written above the king of the Jews. It was written in three different languages. 27 and 28, Brother Ricky. With him, they also crucified two robbers, one on his right, the other on his left. So the scripture was fulfilled, which says, and he was numbered with the transgressors. This means the sinners, the thieves. And those who passed by blasphemed him, wagging their heads and saying, Aha, you who destroy the temple and build it in three days. Save yourself and come down from the cross. Good job. 31 and 32, Brother Art. Let the, let the Christ, the King of Israel, descend now from the cross, that he may see, the, may see and believe. Even those who were cru crucified with him, we veiled in him. Now when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land into the ninth hour. I think you skipped 31 there, Artie. Okay. Yeah, go back and pick it up. Okay, likewise, the chief priests also mocking among themselves with the scribes said he saved others. He saved others. Himself he cannot save. What a bunch of scumballs. Yeah, yeah exactly. So then 32, let the... Christ, the King of Israel, descend now from the cross, meaning come down if you're God, that we may see and believe, even those who were crucified with him reviled him. Now this doesn't talk about how one priest, I mean one priest, one uh, thief believed in him. Now when the sixth hour had come, there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour, 34 and 35. Riggy, Art, go back on recording. So. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's all right. And it's night hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, Eloi, Eloi, Lama Sabagatini. That's good. That's how I say which, it. Is it okay? Which is, which is translated, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of those who stood by when they heard that said, look, he is calling for Elijah. So Y'all have heard me explain this before, I believe. I don't know if we've got it recorded, but uh, basically... Jesus always referred to Father, God as Father. He never referred to him as God until that point. But he had to take all our sin, Rick's, all the way back to, I guess, Enoch's, you know, back in the pre-flood days, all the way for as long as the earth exists. All sin, curses, everything, sicknesses, all came flooding into him at that point. My guess is it was completely overwhelming in that God had to turn his back on him at that moment as all that stuff came into him. And someone ran and filled a sponge full of sour wine, put it on a reed and offered it to him to drink, saying, let him alone. Let us see if Elijah will come to take him down. And Jesus cried out with a loud voice and breathed his last. So breathed out, the spirit up to descended, up ascended. Well, really descended in this case. Art 38, 
Then the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. So when the centurion who stood opposite him saw that he cried out like this and breathed his last, and he said, truly this man was the son of God. And another example of somebody who saved before Pentecost, as guys were debating that, that's an example. It would prove Chris right. Anyway, that's off topic. The veil in 38, true fact, torn from top to bottom. Before Jesus in the blood covenant, no one but the priest could go in once a year to the holiest of holy areas in the temple. By tearing of the thick veil, which was like seven goat or lamb skins or some camel skins thick, it tore from the top to the bottom so they know God did it. Symbolizes that now we can go to God directly in prayer. Um, 40. There was also a woman, women looking on from afar among who were Mary Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James the Less, and of Joses and Salome. Okay, 41, 42, Rick. Who also followed him and ministered to him when he was in Galilee, and many other women who, women who came with him to Jerusalem. Now, when the evening had come, because it was the preparation day, that is, the day before the Sabbath. And Arimathea, Arimathea a prominent council member who was himself waiting for the kingdom of God coming and taking courage, went into Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate marveled that he was already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him if he had been dead for some time. So basically, a rich guy, Joseph Arimathea, came and put Jesus in his tomb. He asked for Jesus' body. 45, 46, uh, Brother Ark. So when he found out from the centurion, he granted the body to Joseph. Then he brought fine linen, took him down, wrapped him in linen, and he laid him in a tomb which had been hewn out of the rock and rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Go ahead, Artie. And Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joses, observed where he was laid. All right, so that concludes chapter 15 in the book of Mark. I think we only have one more chapter. Does anybody have any questions about that? We went a little fast, faster than usual. Normally we break it down a little more. Make sense? Yeah, it just shows how he was crucified and what happened to him when he was crucified. Yeah. You got a few details in there yeah. that are significant. That's right. So folks, if you uh, watch this with us and you'd like to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, if you just happen to stumble upon this video, we encourage you to pray along with all of us. So we're all going to repeat this prayer. We'd like you to repeat it too. Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus. please come into my life. Please come into my life. Please, my life. I'm going to mute you guys. If you don't mind, take over my life. I give my life, body, mind, soul, Spirit to you, forgive me of my sins, show me how to forgive others, I repent and go the other direction of my sin, I change my mind, I turn away from my sin and I go the other direction, show me how to worship you, Lord Jesus, show me how to be intimate with you. Show me how to love you, Lord. Thank you for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. So, folks, if you said that prayer with us, we here at Deliverance Revolution believe you were saved. We thank you for watching this very short video and discussion. Join us next for Mark 16. Oftentimes, we do get into more discussion. If you'd like to join this group, go to deliverancerevolution.org and look for the link up top, I believe, that says online prayer room or online deliverance room. 
and that will show you how to download the Zoom software and you can join us directly. There's also a link on the website at deliverancerevolution.org that says prayers. There's many good prayers you can dive into. If you need to talk to us, hit the contact us link and fill out the quick information. We love you. God bless you and have a great day. Bye bye. Why these gates? Let's see his kingdom come.